amazing against the Mesmeralda. It's amazing against Angela. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the first match for today, it is going to be Team Philippines against Malaysia for Group A. And this is going to be the match to watch to start things off. And as you can see, the Balmond Jungle being played by Del Rosario, as you call it as well, is going to be babysitted with the Angela. Yeah, what, an, what a strong opening for the C Games with Malaysia going up against Philippines. And look at that. Zorn is already invading Philippines jungle, trying to give pressure. But Del Rosario still managing to secure their purple buff. And Zorn, are you in trouble? Nope, he managed to get away. Yep, forcing an early retribution coming from Team Philippines from him is huge because that pretty much allowed Team Malaysia to secure the little wonder. Uh, I like the read coming from Team Malaysia as well, especially with the basket pickup, knowing that Team Philippines, they do have the tendency to go for the Enchanter style. And look at this, Zor going a little bit aggressive. Villa Luna actually going to get caught out. And that's going to be a big catch coming in as well. Imam looking for the, uh, the zone coming in, but I don't think they can kill off Zorn anytime soon. That was potentially the first kill of the C Games in a Mobile Legends event. But Malaysia as well as Philippines, even though they are trying very, very hard to dish as much damage as they can, they still maintain composure, not to overextend, not to potentially give out a mistake. For now, both teams are playing a little bit safe, trying to trade as, you know, to the little objectives, just like the, the, the crab that we just saw. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree as well. It, it, and when it comes to matchup as well, carry is not exactly the best one we want matchup against uh, uh, the V2 itself. But it seems like there is going to be a play coming from Zorn. They do go in for the harass against the Imam Villa Luna, Ooh. looking for the stop as well. But the chop coming from Del Rosario is not going to be enough. Zorn is going to be able to escape this completely with the, the mark. Means that Team Malaysia, they will be able to escape this. However, they are going to lose a little bit of mid pressure. Yeah, Malaysia, they escaped with just a slither of health. Like, that was good. But right now, they do have to see. And first blood has been given to Malaysia. The very first kill of the C Games in the Mobile Legends event. And right now, they're still continuing on the fight on the turtle. And Philippines have managed to secure it for themselves. Four he's still in front of the moon, managing to get the kill on the back line. Oh, very nicely dawning night as well. Philippines, they're taking advantage of the slows coming from Angela. However, they did not take into consideration that Team Malaysia, they do have a lot of sustains coming in. As especially with the Khalid. So great invade so far, but Del Rosario, he's looking to go in for the salvage as well for Team Philippines as they try to go in and hit Malaysia hard. Now, Chiku is going to be able to escape this with Moon going for the great stun coming in, and that is going to be put Team Philippines in dangerous territory. Do they want to re-engage Team Philippines? They're playing it safe. They're trying to go in for the Khalid as well, but Zorn gets a very nice wave of the Dragon Flicker as well. Catches Del Rosario in awkward position and gets one, and that is going to be Momo getting the kill for the carry. So that marksman is going to get a little bit more kill. However, Moon in a very Awkward position, almost dying there in that vicinity, punishing the marksmen of Team Philippines. A beautiful start from Team Malaysia as of yet. Yeah, Philippines overstayed their welcome, really trying to force a fight on the jungle, trying to secure the orange buff, but Malaysia, they understand what they're doing. They come back and recapitalize their own map. And right now, Malaysia has a four kill lead over Philippines. This is a very substantial advantage for Team Malaysia. And for Team Philippines, they have to go back to what works. They have to understand what is the best move that they can do as the team and Malaysia just scored their fifth kill of the game. Oh, this is huge coming from Team Malaysia. They were waiting very, very patiently as well. As likewise coming from Team Philippines, and that one blunder is slowly being a domino effect coming from Team Malaysia, especially with now that the carry is 1-0 against uh, Fee Gonzalez, who's playing on the B-Trick. So Team Malaysia currently, even though they've got 1k economy and they've got fire skills, Team Malaysia has been able to keep up in their economy as of yet. But as of yet... Let's take a look at what's going to be happening as well. You can see Team Malaysia, they're emphasizing on mid control to try and secure the top turtle. Yeah, and right now we also have to give word that for the side of Malaysia, Zorn as well as Moon doing very good setups for both these plays. And Zorn taking a lot of damage, looks like, for both the teams. They are focusing on the turtle. The turtle has been resetted. Team Malaysia, they may not want to take this fight because, again, Philippines will show that they can secure this very, very easily. Yep, Zorn does still have the wave of Dragon. He's looking for the perfect setup as well. Like I said, so the leader counter is something that they can take advantage with the retribution to get the skill. Looks like Zorn is looking for the kick. Does he get it? Yes, he is. That's going to be coming, kick coming in. However, the turtle buff was secured from Del Rosario. He does have the damage as well as the hard guard. Team Malaysia, they're in a little bit of trouble and that's going to be Zorn paying the price. However, the back lines, we have four mates and Momo just completely completely shredding the back lines of Team Philippines and now they're forced to disengage. One for two, an absolutely worth it trade. However, economy-wise, seems to be pretty close though. Yeah, 
Mobile Legends Bang Bang is a game where you have to manage your resources and for the side of Malaysia I feel like they understood that they will not be able to secure the turtles so that's why we see two of the players actually flanking to behind making sure that they manage to get Gonzalez and try to kill off Imam so I feel like they have the right idea we cannot win we cannot secure the turtle so we will take what we can take which is taking some kills and right now they're putting their dominance on the top side of the map oh, making no. sure that they can secure the <laughs> very first turret oh Oh no, if Gonzalez got a little bit aggressive, you can see Zorn was itching to go in for the punish. However, the Rosario are going to be looking to secure the purple buff. But it seems like Team Malaysia does not have the utilities to fight this. Real Venusia has been dropped trying to find one of the moon. You can see Chico immediately going for the cancel. However, Gonzalez from afar finally gets a kill. That's going to be a little bit of redemption economy that Team Philippines has been looking forward to. And because of that kill, you, you can see, based on the economy, they immediately catch up. And they're barely 1k behind. Yeah, I feel like even Moon was caught by surprise. He didn't thought that he would die that that fast to, to Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. So even though it looks like he's playing from behind with a 1 to one score, but right now, he's actually really, really stacking on his physical attributes. So the damage does hurt. So for the side of Malaysia, even with this lead, they have to be careful. Yeah, it's all about disciplined plays coming from Team Philippines, right? I like how they're able to capitalize on long-range snipes, beat the real wound addition as well as the sniper coming in from the B-trick. But that's the thing, Malaysia, you can see they're looking to get a little bit aggressive, but it's so difficult to do so just because of hard guards that may or may not protect whoever they're ganking. You can see the hesitancy of Team Malaysia to play it safe. However, when it comes to turtle objectives, Team Malaysia has not won a single turtle fight yet. Oh, they just won. Oh, they just finally won. Okay, they never mind. Just won, just won. Yeah, over there we can see the classic Caster Chris. Even during mm -hmm. the Sea Games, it can still happen. But looking at Philippines, the way that they are rotating, they're moving as three, they're moving as four. So it's seven minutes and they're already moving towards their Ube strat. So they're mm -hmm. feeling like in terms of damage, they actually do have enough. It's just that we have to see what is their priority. Right now, they are focusing on jungle objectives like the turtle. But we have to see when will they transition to the lanes. Malaysia, they almost got their second turret on the top side of the map. And in the bottom side of the map, we can see Zorn managing to catch Villa Luna and got a killing spree over to carry. Uh, it seems like they are going to go for more as well as Gonzalez is going to be stranded here with no Angela protecting. Gonzalez is pretty much stranded. However, Malaysia, do they want to force the issue because the Lord is going to be up very, very soon in about 60 seconds. But it seems like Team Malaysia, they are going to back up and try to capitalize on the jugglers itself. The Rosario going to get caught out. A big thought and light comes in. It's going to be now straight its way through. The render coming in is not going to be able to kill off for Maze as they've got the sustains. But you can see Team Malaysia, they will sacrifice for Maze as they have a bigger picture. That is going to be diving onto his Imam. But it seems like Imam does have wow. the sustains and they get completely completely punished for their greed on trying to kill the mage and this is going to be putting a dent into his Malaysia's economy. Yeah, a big miscalculation for the side of Malaysia thinking that they can out damage. But look at that, Momo trying to 1v2. Uh -oh. uh -oh. oh, oh, no. 1v2, is oh, that no. a good idea? And looks like it's not. For the side of Team Malaysia, right now they're giving a lot of advantages for the side of Philippines. They are starting to feel like their advantage is bigger than it really is. Oh my goodness, Team Philippines with that play means they are going to get a little bit more mid control and they are back right in action as Team Philippines Malaysia is going to be able to capitalize a little bit more. Gonzalez starting to hit like a truck. We did not expect the damage coming from him. As uh, you can see, Team Malaysia, they have to start grouping up as well because the Ube strategy is starting to kick in coming from Team Malaysia. Yeah, as we talked about before we even start the series where for the side of Philippines, this is how they play. The moment one person makes a mistake from the side of the enemy team, they can start to capitalize. We can see after those mistakes, Philippines, they got a lot of objectives on the map. So Malaysia, they do have to learn. They have to adapt very, very quickly where against a Philippine team, they are very keen. They are very aware mm. of small micro mistakes that they can take advantage of. Right now, looking at the itemization, Beatrix already has the Blade of Despair. So the burst damage is going to be very, very, very strong. Yeah. But against for this tanky lineup, we do have to see whether Gonzalez is going to be favoring the Malefic Roar for more penetration or the Demon Sword for the percent HP damage. I'm really surprised that Chico opted to go for the, the Radiant Armor instead of the usual Sky Garden Helmet just because of how much uh, the Esmeralda and Yif is bringing to the table. So he's going to be playing a little more on a supportive side rather than for self-sustained for the invades. So it's really interesting that Team Malaysia is doing this, but you can see 
they are looking to go in for the ambush. Iman does have a very, very good idea. Zorn is going to try to make a attempt. Here comes the Wheel of the Dragon. However, the Purify is going to completely cancel off. And the Lido counter will chop in now. And that is going to be one man down from Sai Tipo Asia. And they are having to make a run for it. See, Philippines does pop the power guard in this vicinity. Chiku also going to be caught out. However, for Maze, looking to isolate the fight, he's going to be caught off in the mess. And all four players, as the Philippines shifts their focus on him and takes him out. And that is. Beautiful, beautiful transitions coming from Team Belize, Philippines. Yeah, we can see it, Philippines, they're not done yet. So the Wen in front, Moon still trying to dish out as much damage as he can from the back side. But again, for the side of Malaysia, they're taking the risk where they feel like the cost is not that high. But as of right now, the Lord is up. So for both of the teams, for both of the nations, Philippines and Malaysia, they have to start thinking this is going to be, uh, this is going to the 11th minute mark. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the 12th minute mark, then the Lord will be stronger. So they have to start playing a little bit more carefully. They cannot make any any positional mistakes. Yeah, I'm really surprised by the trigger discipline coming from the Philippines as well, especially with the early engagement where they could have forced all their skills onto his Chiku, but instead of doing it, they just showed their presence, walked right beside him, held their horses, and saw that, hey, wait a minute, Formis is out of position, turns their focus and say, guys, let's shut him down, and they immediately take him out of the pick equation. It's interesting considering that for a good solid 10 seconds, no spells were expected. But now, here comes the play coming from Team Malaysia with the conceals as well as they go in for the way of the Dragon King. Takes out the Angela. The biggest problem from the side of Team Malaysia has been taken out. And you can see everyone from Philippines is running. The big Don and Light to scare them off. And that is going to be space created for the Lord take. Gonzalez almost went down, but Soto is still there. Soto is making sure that Malaysia does not have an easy time securing this Lord. Soto, Del Rosario, as well as Imam is there. Malaysia, they really have to be careful. But Soto is taking a lot of damage. Rewa manipulation uh -oh. has been open. Soto is very, very low. And he managed to be taken down. Formis is in front, but the little counter secures the kill. Malaysia, what do you want to do? And looks like they want to retreat. Philippines did a very, very good defense, making sure that the Lord doesn't go over to Malaysia. Agreed. Gonzalez is going to be starting to hit like a truck. And Team Malaysia, even though they've got a radio armor to deal with the mage, but eventually they have to figure a way to deal with this Beatrix. And pretty much Formes has been given the task but with him being take out equation means that Team Malaysia is going to be forced to be going on a, a stalemate for now. As you can see, they're staring at the Lord and it's all about who makes the first move. And right now for the side of Malaysia, I feel like this is what they're really thinking about. They have to focus either on Viluna or Imam because those are the two main uh, two main players that they are focusing on. If they manage to get Gonzalez, then yeah, everyone is going over to, to Gonzalez. But without Villa Luna, without Imam, they're, they're creating a lot of space, especially for Fomis mm -hmm. to go to the back line. Because again, the, the, the fact that Villa Luna as well as Imam have a lot of slow, it makes it very, very difficult for, for the side of Malaysia, whether it be Zorn, Formis, or Chiku, to really disturb Gonzalez. So I feel like they're not worried about the damage, they're worried about the crowd control coming in from Philippines. Agreed. It's all about playing the late game. And you can see Team Malaysia, their focus here is going to be dragging out towards the later stage of the game where Moon is going to be coming up online. Likewise with Momo, who's going to be the strength to stretch through all this sustains, all these tanky compositions coming from the Philippines. And the only one that pretty much stops them is pretty much Gonzalez. As you can see, they're trying to bait him out as well. A big dawning life scares them off, but it's still not enough damage for Moon. Has he, he is only level 12, 13 minutes in the game. And right now, Malaysia is still going for the Lord. And they're going to be focusing on the Rosario. And he is going to be taken down. So right now, the Bellman is not there for me. He's still taken down. And Chiku secures the Lord. Ooh. The Philippines still making sure that they can win the team fight. In the front lines, Chiku has been taken down. Three members, three athletes from Malaysia has gone down. Only one from the side of Philippines. So Philippines is still looking like they are in charge. Exactly. They still have the Esperanto. As long as Gonzalez is live, they can look to turn the tide. The team Malaysia, they need to rely on Zorn making the place with Moon. This is going to be a very, very difficult task to do. However, what's really surprising is that Mumu was completely destroyed by Gonzalez in one ultimate. And this is just putting Tim Philippines in a situation where if Malaysia gets a little bit too aggressive, they will immediately look to for the punish.
this is the pros and cons of having a carry. Yes, in the late game, it's going to mm -hmm. be very strong. You're going to shred all the tanky heroes in front with or without tanky uh, tank destroying items. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you have a very, 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 very short range. And Gonzalez having that Blade of Despair, having that mm -hmm. Hunter Strike, having that Demon Hunter Sword, he's going to outrange the carry by yep. a lot. So it's going to be very, very easy for Gonzalez to kill off the carry. So. Momo has to have that awareness mm -hmm. whether he's going to come in late or Malaysia really have to make sure that Gonzalez is taken care of before a team fight begins. Yeah, very interesting choice of itemization coming from Momo as well. But before that, let's take a look at Zorn. Zorn suddenly starting out with the kick as well. Gets someone to Del Rosaro. Very, very tanky. However, four mates immediately go to the back line. Immediately gets free hitted by Gonzalez on the marksman. However, Momo will say your sacrifice will not be in vain because I was able to trade it off for Team Malaysia. Soto, not too happy about it, is going to try and capitalize on the situation. He's stalling the time for the team and you can see the teams are ready to go real malaysia catches over off guard they get a trade and villa luna survives and team malaysia managed to brute force tank all of the mage damage coming for team bullbeans yeah malaysia they're playing very very risky because we look at the hp bars coming in from their team and it's not very very high but they still managed to kite things out now zorn is there zorn oh is just goodness. trying to make sure that he does not come and protect the turret Malaysia making sure that they got the mid-second theater and right now they're gonna reset and looks like Team Malaysia they're still in terms of map control they're ahead but in terms of gold both mm -hmm. the teams are, are, are even. Exactly. You know, it, it's really smart that Zorn was able to bait out the hard card preemptively, but at the same time, I'm really surprised that economy is still swinging 50-50s despite all these ugly trades. And you can see how close it, uh, it gets, even though in terms of objectives, in terms of turret, Malaysia does have a little bit of upper hand, but now we're heading towards late game territories. Items are almost getting maxed out. It all comes down to one wrong move. Who makes the mistake? Makes the mistake, and it's over. Seems like Zorn looking for the kick again. Looking on the kick of Zell's Razario. The hard guy comes in. They're going to be repeating the consecration, but you can see Momo completely chunking his way through. Double kill for him, and now they're ignoring the rest of Team Philippines, knowing that Momo is so, so strong. And this is the late game territory that Malaysia has been eyeing for for a very, very long time. That was probably the best team fight that Malaysia had has shown in this current match because it was a very clean pickoff on Adele Rosario as well as Villa Luna, making sure that both of those players are down and out. For me, it, it makes it an easier task for him to go to the back lines, even if he doesn't get a kill. As long as Gonzalez doesn't have the confidence to go in front and kill off oh, Momo, no. it's oh, going to no. look very strong. And Malaysia, they're still going hard on this engage in the bottom side of the map. Real World Revolution has been open. Gonzalez trying to clear out the minion. Zorn is in front. He has been taken out. Chiku goes One to the HP? front. Still not able. He manages to get the kill. Ooh. And the dawning life from Moon unable to get more kills on the table. Malaysia looking very, very strong, very, very aggressive in this game. Very, very close place coming from the moon as well, considering that he almost got the reset. That was his second dawning light. However, Philippines a little bit too much sustained. However, with the Lord knocking in, they are going to be sending the Luna three empty part guard coming in from the side team Philippines. Malaysia is looking to concede this as of yet, knowing that they do not have Zor to punish this. The thing that the side of Philippines, they have to worry about because Del Rosario, even with Villa Luna, coming in with the hard guard, giving extra shielding towards him. It looks like from the side of Malaysia, that really does not matter. Momo mm -hmm. has enough damage to penetrate through yeah. the shield and penetrate through the HP of Del Rosario. So from the side of Philippines, they have to switch yeah. things up. I Is agree. it still a very good idea to protect the Bowman? Or do you have to focus your heart guard on someone else like Soto or Gonzalez? It's going to be extremely hard to actually make the what's the right play here considering that Momo has reached a stage where his final item was the Endless Battle, and ever since that happened, things are gonna go south. However, what they can do is bully out Moon, and that is a big catch-up because now they took down the annoying Xavier, but that just means the next target is gonna be Momo. As you can see, Momo is slowly poking their way through. Soto taking a little bit too much damage, and the true damage coming from him is gonna chunk his way through. Forme still has an immortality. He's gonna try and bait things for Team Malaysia as they go in for a re-engagement. Zor goes in for a beautiful, beautiful flicker play from Team Malaysia. However, Team Malaysia is down 
in terms of cooldown to burst him down. That's so, so unfortunate. Yeah, and I feel like he did not expect for the kick to be that short. I feel mm -hmm. like even he expected for it to go a little bit further. And Gonzalez having one HP left, that was very, very crucial, but we do have to put into consideration he has the immortality, so mm -hmm. he will uh, come back alive. And Villa Luna, being on the side, he can still heal up uh, Gonzalez. So exactly. over there, Malaysia, they have understood, yes, we need to take out Gonzalez, but Gonzalez is not making it easy for the side of Malaysia. So right now, even though Malaysia has a clear advantage, we cannot count Philippines out because it's a very winnable game for them. Malaysia just need to overextend once, and it's game over. It's 20 minutes in the game. Agreed. Gonzalez is going to be selling off uh, his shoe and for chasing the immortality to ex prolong the fight. And on top of all, he's got the hard card to counter negate the blade armor. But we'll hold that off for now because Real Wound Nation is going to be on his way. Winter Truck in form for Maze is going to keep him alive, whereas Team Malaysia looking to submit his corner place, but a beautiful slow coming from Imam is going to slow him in his track. However, Team Malaysia is going to be able to retreat safely in that situation as they've got bigger pictures to fry. However, seems like the rod is going to be up for grabs. As you can see, they see Soto up top and a big dawning light coming from Moon. It's going to scare off Team Philippines. And this is not looking good. Team Philippines, they have to call in the carry. They have to regroup and they are going to try and force the issue with the Lord. A big outlook of Gonzalez. Not going to be able to chunk towards the Lord. And that is going to be Zor trying to split off the fight. But seems like Team Malaysia, they're giving up control of the Lord and they are just getting picked apart bit by bit. And the Lord is still going to be surviving. But Team Philippines they focus on killing off all the heroes. They get the Lord and Team Malaysia, they're scrambling. They lost everyone just like that. This is what we just talked about. Only one person has to overextend slightly and the tides of battle will change. Philippines now with three minions still there. They're focusing on mid. Only with Zorn and Momo there. Can they uh -oh. really do anything? Uh -oh. Momo has to run away. His HP is solo. And Philippines, they have two minions oh, no. still alive. They're focusing on the turret. They're focusing on the crystal. Malaysia as of right now, they are able to make sure that they are able to survive this one, but Zorn is not gonna say the same thing. Momo with very, very oh, low no. HP. Real Woman Manipulation is there. There's nowhere for him to go. No one from Malaysia is alive, and game number one is going to the Philippines. Oh, that was so close, but what a play coming from Team Philippines. Just